so far in the history of ZTT reviewing build guides, this is the number one requested build is the day that this video came out, which is admittedly a little old now, August 23rd. I had like five DMs or uh, pings in the Discord server to review this one right away. So it doesn't look awful. Oh, uh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll see. This is Greg Salazar's uh, building an $800 giving, uh, gaming PC and giving it away. I had this many people tell me to review this and it's a giveaway PC. Just in case if you guys don't know how the YouTube world works, if you're paying, like if it's not like a sponsored giveaway or something, more than likely, I have no idea if this is the case here, but more than likely you were giving away spare parts. So it may not be a hundred percent optimized build guide. And he's not saying that this is a build guide at all. The title is I'm building an $800 gaming PC and I'm giving it away. That like he's not just from the title alone, he's not saying this is the $800 build that you should copy 100%. So it very well could be a spare parts build. Let's see what Greg says, but before anyone freaks out, cuz I would assume if this many people told me to check it out, then there's some bad part selections in here. But that is how the real world works here on YouTube. So please please keep that in mind. All right, let's check this out. Let's go, Greg. Hey there, this is hey. a PC build video, and uh, if you can't already tell, the system is going to be pretty affordable. I wouldn't say it's a budget rig in the sense that it's not going to cost like four or five hundred dollars, but you know, under a thousand bucks is a sweet spot for a lot of builders, especially first time builders. There's the whole, there's there's the whole parts list right there. Definitely some discrepancies. Wait, that's not even the same graphics card. Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. All right, here we go. A so couple bad value. discrepancies too, mind you. Your rig, yeah, see, good. the PC part picker said 6600. Now he's saying 6600 XT, but regardless. 600 watt power supply, 80 plus, decent warranty, very affordable, 500 gigs. <laughs> Right off the bat, that's like, uh, that's honestly one of the worst power supplies that you can go with. The, the 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 W1 is, is it tier D or tier F? It's a very bad power supply. The W1 is a is a big is a big no no, especially when there's so many options for the same price or just a couple bucks more. But again, but I don't want to say this over and over again. This very well could be a spare parts build. He might not have bought that power supply for this build guide. I don't know if that's the case, but that very well could have happened. But yeah, most people consider the W1 a complete bomb. He also has a 2.5 inch SSD in there, the BX500. You would never be able to convince me that that is worth it. I don't know if that's outdated information on his part. I don't think it is because Greg's a really smart dude. When I see a 2.5 inch SSD, I'm, I'm starting to see... Uh, that this was a spare parts build. And then he also has the, the Team Group T Create Classic. If you just go on Amazon right now and you search for two by eight gigabyte, 3,200 megahertz, this is consistently the cheapest RAM kit that you'll find. Uh, the $49 is actually not a great price. I've, I've seen it go for cheaper than that, but it's consistently the, the cheapest one. And for good reason, the CL rating, the CL22 is very, very slow. Ryzen would take advantage of faster RAM, as we all know, not just the frequencies, but the timing as well. I don't think it's gonna be like a huge degrade on the system. Uh, it will be a degrade, but I wouldn't recommend it. Like I would never recommend it in a close to $900 build. Shout out to him for saying 800 and it's 875 by the way. And that's with the 6600 as well. So who knows if, whatever. Um, this looks like a $900 belt. That, that's an awful RAM kit to go with for $900. You can get some much better RAM kits, even at 3,200 megahertz, just with the better CL rating for just a couple dollars more. And then the NVMe drive, I would much rather see any budget NVMe drive over a 2.5 inch drive that is capped to SATA three speeds. You definitely don't want to do that. You got to go with an NVMe drive, especially in a, a $900 build needs an NVMe drive. I don't care if it's the MP33. That's pretty incredible. I think it's gonna look really nice when everything's thrown into this. I do like that and, case uh, from Musatex. That looks pretty cool. Well, all said and done. So with that, are you ready? Stick around for the ride. We're gonna start things off with a B550 motherboard. Uh, and this- The B550 is a little questionable too. Before. Like if you would have saved money and went with a B450, you could have spent money to get faster RAM, a better SSD, and a non-bomb power supply. So the, the budget allocation is a little weird on this one, spending that much money on a B550. Again, it could, it could have been spare parts. Gigabyte actually sent out several of these for... There you go, Jeremy. There you go. There you go. He just said... He just said Gigabyte sent that out to him. He's using parts that he already had. This is not a build guide. But we are going to be using a face G because... Oh! X is busy. No, 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 no. You can't just swap that out. No, 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 no. What? What does his parts list have? Hold on. He's got 5600X on there. They're not the same. They're not the same. The 5600G 
is slower than the 5600X. It's not just about the the iGPU. You can't just make that switch. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hold up. Okay, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. That's not the that's not the cooler on the 5600G. That's not the cooler. The, no, no, no. What, what's going on here? That's the I, I I can never remember the model numbers, but that's the thick boy. The, it's the thin boy that comes with the 5600G. I think the Wraith Stealth is what comes with the 5600G. That is not the Wraith Stealth. That is the Wraith Spire. Right? Am I right? I always forget the name, but this is the bigger one. Yeah, I don't like when people do this. Um, I know that a lot of people have done testing, and you're going to be perfectly fine if you draw the smiley face. But people that are watching build guide videos on the internet, you're looking for good advice, and you just, you should, I don't know. I feel like you should take it seriously. Like, you're not going to find me doing stuff like this, other than using different types of thermal face for science. Uh, but whatever. I mean, that's fine. If that's the entertainment that he wants to do. That's fine. Cross Titan, great advice. I say that every single time. Are we going to rotate this? I doubt it. Are we going to rotate it? Uh, so I give this advice every single time. It, you, he should really spend the 90 seconds it takes to rotate that AMD logo. I don't mind it. I don't think it looks like super ugly just for the record, but I do think that you should spend the 90 seconds to rotate it. I do like the form factor of that case. I really like that. that that's super clean. That's a good start. That's a good start. Black RAM would have looked much better though with better timing. Is he going to say why he's using that? Yeah, that, that, that uh, just never, never. You, you got to have the disclaimer on here. Uh, even if it's a spare parts build, like why in the world would you put a 2.5 inch SSD in honestly any build right now other than something a build that has a motherboard that doesn't have an NVMe slot on it. But I mean, NVMe prices are cheaper than this BX500. I, I wish you would have at least included a disclaimer like, hey guys, this was already sitting in my inventory. This is why I'm using it. You should use an NVMe drive. That that that's bizarre. But this Mustex case again doesn't have a lot of De definitely don't back, ever use so the W1 though. Maybe oh, and I mean he's not using extensions or anything. He's just rocking the super ugly W1 ketchup and mustard cables. That's a hundred percent unacceptable in my book especially for a $900 build price you guys know me I throw cable extensions in $300 builds but a $900 build that's unacceptable aesthetics in my in my book uh, yeah that panel doesn't look like it has a lot of depth at all yeah he'll have to bend that a little bit but so when you've got stuff that's but not because of his cable management just because that case doesn't have this looks like this case will be a nightmare to cable manage inside of especially if you had cable extensions that'd be awful and then we're gonna lay the yep. right panel down we're gonna push real hard with our forearms Wow, I'm I'm glad he's explaining this. <laughs> Real talk. Whenever I have to smash the the rear panel like this down because either the case sucks or my cable management sucks, I often try to hide the amount of effort. I, I know you guys all probably do the same thing, but I try to hide the effort it took to smash it down. Because whenever you do have to smash it down, that means you probably have ba bad cable management. So I like that he's actually telling his audience that you got to put some muscle in there. Because sometimes, sometimes cases just suck. I, I like that he's shown the struggle. That's respectable. Because I've definitely done builds like this before. We did it. That's funny. Quickly. I've never shown. I've never seen somebody show that before. That's hilarious. That, my friends, is how you secure a right side panel on a case that has minimal cable management behind the Yeah. Good job. Right, and last thing good job, I like it. Is our graphics card this beautiful? Our I do like the 6600 XT choice. That's good. Solid. Sure yeah, see, that's it. That, that, that graphics card's not brand new. You know, the he said he might have used it before already. He doesn't have the plastic uh, sheeting on there. You know, like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure that he is. Uh, he's. This is a spare parts build. A single I just wish he would have said something. So, uh, is, oh, dude, you know what? I, <laughs> you guys are getting a special treat on this episode. No, you know, I didn't. Even, I didn't no. even think about the card off. <laughs> No. Wait, 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 wait. I think we can finesse it. I think. Oh, oh okay. He's got it. He's got <laughs> no, it. No, it fits. Look at that. Now you nice certainly job. He got it. it. Doesn't really cost Pretty sweet looking, I mean, Greg. We're under so that that that's my problem right there. So <laughs> I'm not the I'm I'm fully aware that I'm not the only person that builds aesthetic PCs. I do understand that for budget builds, my aesthetics are humbly, of course, top level. I like. I, I'm fully aware of that. However, there are other people out there that are also creating aesthetically pe uh, pleasing PCs. And I don't like that he thinks <laughs> this kind of bothers me. I don't like that if he thinks that this is a good looking PC for $900. That is an atrocious looking gaming PC. There's zero color scheme in that whatsoever. Unless if your color scheme is black, gray, silver, and ketchup and mustard. Like that, that's very ugly. 
for a nine hundred dollar build, you you should absolutely make your build look much better. He's kind of proving that he's not watching other content creators or even other builds in the community if you think that looks good. That's just my opinion on the aesthetics. You guys know I take the aesthetics very seriously. I think the icing on the cake here would be maybe some custom cable extensions. For sure. Pretty cheap kits, like 30 so he knows. So he knows. The issue I have here is there's not a lot of room behind the motherboard. Exactly. Those extensions do yep, there's definitely not a lot of room, but I would always make the sacrifice for cable extensions. You can always fit in cable extensions unless if it's like a small form factor ITX build. Then sometimes it's physically impossible. You definitely could fit it in here. You just jam it underneath the power supply shroud. It would be tough, but you could definitely do it. But I'm, I'm glad that he's acknowledging that you, you should install cable extensions. It would be tough in this case, but you definitely should do it. I also like we have a small cutout here to show off the power supply, although this one is a pretty cheap one, nothing really to brag about. It's a nice little uh, yep, exactly. feature there. Definitely want to remove that sticker or apply some vinyl on there uh, like we always do. But he did acknowledge that that's a cheap power supply, so that's fine. I do like, like the look of the case. The case looks really yeah, good from the left side. It looks really good. So now that we know how it stacks up, and of course the system has been built. The last thing I want to do in this video, he doesn't know about. This is his build. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. I made my mind up a little early when you said you wanted to get look, this to Lydia or something. He's gonna say that this is a spare parts build, and then and then you guys have to stop all the critiquing on it. This was I've been saying it the whole time. This is spare parts build. He's giving it to the cameraman right now. Thing like no, this, so not. yeah, so give it to Lydia. So, no, you're messing with So, me. he actually just got married, <laughs> oh and uh, gosh, I, didn't, I didn't give him a present. Look yeah, at that. For what he does the, for this the is spare uh, parts belt for sure. I called this from minute end, one, by the way, or before we even started. Not bad, huh? See, I told you it was worth filming. I was yeah. giving him perhaps he was shaking the camera earlier. I'm like, it all paid off. That's so cool. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so I think it was for the cameraman's wife. They just got married. Yeah, I think I'm tracking that. The deal is, it is bad. If you were to recommend this parts list, I would not recommend this parts list, but he's not recommending it. He's saying that this is just the PC that he built. It gets decent FPS numbers and he's giving it away surprisingly to a person uh, that he knows. Now, I would have really, really, really appreciated a disclaimer on that. Like, that's how I build a lot of my PCs. Like, I, I put it in the notes section of all my builds on Thirsty Thursday. Note. This is a spare parts build. This is not an optimized build guide. Do not follow it. it you, they almost always say that because PC flippers, YouTubers, whoever, we always have a lot of spare parts. So if he would have just included that disclaimer, but since he didn't say that and he was kind of hinting at like, this is a decent PC, there's a lot of mistakes with it. You know, I don't like the whole 5600G, 5600X and the CPU cooler thing. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> The $190 spent on the B550, even though he said he did get that one from Gigabyte, that makes no sense in a in a build like this. You should have spent extra, like you should have got a B450 or a cheaper B550 and spent that extra money on better RAM, an NVMe drive, and a better power supply for sure. But the whole 5600X and 6600X T combo that actually would be really good. But yeah, overall, it wasn't a build guide. I think he was trying to make it seem like a build guide so his cameraman wouldn't know what was going on. That's actually a good take that I, I wasn't even considering as well. I've been given the benefit of the doubt to Greg this entire video. That's an even better take than what I had. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. I do. Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. But it, it, it's still a failure on his part for not disclaimer uh given that's a disclaimer uh i'll link on twitch and youtube if you guys do want to go uh drop a like i do know greg personally um i don't mean to smack talk on him at all uh him and i have a good relationship but um yeah i just i wish he would have included the the disclaimer on that one otherwise otherwise like whatever like <laughs> he just put he just put together a 5600g 6600 xt system as a surprise giveaway for his cameraman's wife i don't have a problem with that I don't have a problem with that at all.